However, the glitz and glamour of Hollywood often hide deep secrets behind the smiles of child stars and beloved icons like Iron Man and the cast of Friends. Many actors have faced the harsh realities of addiction. Their once promising careers were overshadowed by substance abuse, leading to tragic outcomes. As we explore the stories of 15 actors caught in this destructive cycle, we reveal the painful consequences of fame and the dark side of the spotlight. The struggle with drugs and alcohol has left scars that are hard to heal, reminding us of the cost behind the allure of stardom. Judy Garland, born Frances Ethel Gum on June 10, 1922, was destined for greatness from a young age. As a child star, she was known for her incredible singing and acting talents, which would eventually capture the hearts of millions around the world. However, beneath the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Garland grappled with demons that threatened to consume her. From a tender age, Garland was exposed to the harsh realities of show business. She was subjected to rigorous work schedules, leaving little time for rest and relaxation. The constant pressure to perform and meet expectations took a toll on her mental and emotional well-being. This early exposure to fame laid the groundwork for her future battles with addiction. As Garland grew older, she turned to drugs to help her cope with the demands of her career. Amphetamines helped her stay energized and focused, while barbiturates allowed her to relax and sleep. Unfortunately, what started as a coping mechanism soon spiraled out of control, becoming a full-blown addiction. Throughout her adult life, Garland fought against depression, anxiety, and self-doubt, all of which were amplified by her substance abuse. Despite repeated attempts at rehab and periods of sobriety, Garland found it challenging to escape the grip of addiction. Her addiction had far-reaching consequences, affecting both her personal and professional lives. Colleagues and employers became increasingly frustrated with her frequent absences and erratic behavior on set. Financial difficulties mounted due to lost opportunities and legal troubles. Yet, even amidst these challenges, Garland's talent shone brightly. Garland's powerful voice, magnetic stage presence, and emotional depth enthralled audiences worldwide. Despite her struggles, she remained a beloved figure, earning praise and accolades wherever she went. But behind closed doors, Garland wrestled with inner demons that ultimately proved too much to bear. On June 22, 1969, she died from an accidental overdose of barbiturates, marking the end of a turbulent life filled with highs and lows. Initially, Tara Reid's journey in Hollywood was filled with great excitement and success. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Vicki Latham in the beloved film American Pie, which was released in 1999. This role catapulted her into the spotlight and opened many doors in the industry. However, as time went on, Reid faced difficulties as her following projects did not achieve the same level of praise as her breakout performance. As her professional life faced challenges, Reed's personal life began to attract significant attention as well. Reports surfaced regarding her struggles with substance abuse, particularly alcohol. She was frequently spotted at clubs and events, sometimes appearing to be under the influence. This led to serious health issues, including a hospitalization in 2007 due to liver damage, which underscored the severity of her situation. Amid these struggles, Reed made a pivotal decision in 2008 by checking herself into rehab though the exact reasons for her admission were not publicly disclosed. Insiders indicated that her battle with alcohol had become a pressing concern. This marked a turning point as she sought to regain control over her life and career. After getting help, Reed surprised many by landing the role of April Wexler in the Sharknado film series. This franchise quickly became a hit on social media, attracting millions of viewers and breathing new life into her acting career. Even when faced with ongoing personal challenges, Tara remained committed to pursuing new opportunities and taking charge of her future. Her journey highlights the critical need for mental health awareness and self-care, particularly in the demanding entertainment industry. As we consider Tara Reed's experiences, it's evident that her determination and resilience play a vital role in her ongoing story. Born or Jan Mortensen, Marilyn Monroe left an indelible mark on Hollywood and popular culture. Despite her dazzling persona on screen, her life was fraught with inner turmoil and addiction. Raised in foster homes due to her mother's struggle with schizophrenia, she sought solace in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. However, fame brought its own set of challenges, including the pressure to maintain an image of perfection. Her battles with addiction were exacerbated by the culture of her time, where prescription medications were readily dispensed to manage psychological distress. Tragically, the very substances meant to alleviate her pain only deepened her addiction and fueled a downward spiral. 
Found dead at the age of 36, her passing was attributed to an apparent overdose of barbiturates. The combination of sedatives, amphetamines, and alcohol found in her system painted a grim picture of the toll addiction had taken on her life. Despite these struggles, Monroe remains an iconic figure, leaving behind a legacy that serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of fame, addiction, and the unchecked power of prescription drugs. Her story resonates with many, reminding us that even the brightest stars can be consumed by their inner demons. Behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood lies a darker reality, one where the harsh spotlight can take a heavy toll. Born on August 23, 1970, in Madras, Oregon, River Phoenix rose to fame as a talented actor during the 1980s and early 1980s. His parents, John and Arlen, were once members of the Children of God religious group, but left in 1978. This departure marked the start of a nomadic lifestyle for the Phoenix family, traveling throughout South America and the United States. During these formative years, River's parents nurtured their children's creativity and spiritual growth, allowing young River and his sibling Joaquin to explore various artistic pursuits, eventually leading them to act. Despite coming from an unusual background, it wasn't long before River's natural ability and charismatic screen presence caught the attention of Hollywood executives. At just 15 years old, River landed his breakthrough role in Rob Rayner's Stand By Me alongside Will Wheaton, Corey Feldman, and Jerry O'Connell. Critically acclaimed upon its release in 1986, the film launched River's career and established him as a serious contender among young actors of his generation. Following Stand By Me, River continued taking on challenging roles, starring opposite Harrison Ford in The Mosquito Coast. He went on to appear in numerous films like Running on Empty and My Own Private Idaho, further solidifying his status as one of the most respected and sought after talents of his time. However, behind the scenes, River wrestled with inner turmoil and addiction. On the fateful night of October 30, 1993, disaster struck when Phoenix attended a party at the Viper Room, a popular Los Angeles nightclub partly owned by fellow actor Johnny Depp. Despite warnings from his concerned girlfriend Samantha Mathis regarding the ominous atmosphere inside, River chose to remain and even joined the house band, P, on stage for an impromptu jam session. Feeling ill midway through the performance, he gestured to friends indicating he might have accidentally ingested too many drugs, reportedly a lethal mix of cocaine and heroin. Tragically, those fears became reality mere minutes later when River collapsed outside the club, ultimately succumbing to the deadly cocktail coursing through his veins. News of River's untimely passing sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. Devastated fans, colleagues, and loved ones grieved deeply for the bright light extinguished far too soon. In response to her son's heartbreaking demise, Arlen wrote an emotional tribute, highlighting both River's remarkable gifts and the stark reality of substance abuse still prevalent today. She urged society not to shy away from facing difficult conversations surrounding drug addiction and called for greater awareness and education around the issue. Moreover, the beloved comedian, an actor faced a long-standing battle with drug addiction throughout his life, a facet of his story that often remained obscured by his public persona. Born in 1951, Williams catapulted to fame in the 1970s with his stand-up comedy routines. He later transitioned to television and film, where he became a household name with memorable roles in Good Morning, Vietnam, Dead Poet Society, and Mistress Doubtfire. Despite his outward success, Williams struggled privately with addiction particularly to cocaine and alcohol. His addiction issues were deeply intertwined with his struggles with depression and anxiety, conditions he grappled with for much of his life. Williams openly acknowledged using drugs and alcohol as a means of self-medication and escape from his inner demons, a coping mechanism that often exacerbated his mental health challenges. He famously quipped that cocaine is God's way of telling you that you are making too much money. Over the years, Williams made multiple attempts to confront his addiction, seeking treatment, and entering rehabilitation programs in an effort to regain control over his life. However, his battle with substance abuse remained a persistent and pervasive aspect of his existence, marked by periods of sobriety followed by relapses. Williams' struggles took a toll on his personal relationships and professional endeavors, contributing to strained marriages and challenges in his career. Despite his efforts to overcome his demons, addiction continued to cast a shadow over his life, underscoring the complexities and challenges associated with substance abuse and mental health disorders. Tragically, his battle with addiction came to a heartbreaking end 
when he died by suicide in August 2014. Despite these dark moments, Williams is remembered not only for his comedic brilliance, but also for his kindness, generosity, and the profound effect he had on the lives of those he touched. David Hasselhoff, the beloved actor known for his roles in Baywatch and Knight Rider, has faced his fair share of challenges, both personally and professionally. His battles with substance abuse, particularly alcohol and drugs, have garnered significant attention over the years. In 2009, reports emerged claiming that Hasselhoff was rushed to the hospital due to a drinking binge, further intensifying speculation regarding his struggle with alcoholism. However, his representatives denied these allegations, stating that it was simply a case of exhaustion. Hasselhoff's issues with addiction did not come as a surprise to everyone, especially considering his ex-wife Pamela Bach's previous accusations of domestic violence and describing him as a falling down drunk. Despite these controversies, Hasselhoff's two daughters, Taylor Ann and Haley, remained instrumental in encouraging him to address his addictions and embrace change. A turning point came when Taylor Ann recorded her father in a disoriented state caused by excessive drinking. This incident led Hasselhoff to acknowledge his problematic behavior and commit to seeking professional help. He admits that his daughter's influence played a crucial role in making him recognize the severity of his situation and understand the necessity of altering his self-destructive habits. Although Hasselhoff's personal life has experienced turbulence, he has continued working in show business. Notably, he took on a part in the musical last night, A DJ Saved My Life, portraying a hedonistic disc jockey residing in Advisa who reflects upon past errors and contemplates how they affected those closest to him. Through this character, Hasselhoff highlights the significance of sincerity and effective communication between parents and children. Despite occasional lapses in judgment, Hasselhoff maintains gratitude for his supporters and cherishes the numerous opportunities presented to him throughout his career, as he persists in focusing on sustaining sobriety and adopting a more balanced lifestyle, he serves as an example of perseverance and redemption. Additionally, Matthew Perry, best known for his role as Chandler Bing on the hit TV show Friends, faced significant struggles with addiction throughout his life. His issues began in the late 1990s, during the peak of the show's popularity. Despite his success, he battled with substance abuse that persisted for many years. Perry sought treatment multiple times, checking into rehab facilities in hopes of overcoming his challenges. However, his journey was fraught with setbacks and relapses. On October 28, 2023, Perry was found unresponsive in a hot tub at his home in Los Angeles. He was pronounced dead later that day at the age of 54. The cause of death was attributed to the acute effects of ketamine, along with other contributing factors, including drowning and coronary artery disease. His passing highlighted the severe effects of addiction and mental health struggles, serving as a stark reminder of the importance of seeking help and support. In the aftermath of his death, the National Philanthropic Trust established the Matthew Perry Foundation. This foundation aims to support individuals suffering from addiction, helping to carry on Perry's mission of advocacy and awareness. His life and struggles continue to resonate, emphasizing the need for open conversations around mental health 